All right, so this is my gratitude journal, and uh, I try and be thankful for everything every day, but this exercise has been really good and has helped show me um, you know, e even more opportunities to be grateful. So let's take a look at how the week turned out. The day started by teaching a private lesson to a friend and student. Now, he works very hard, learns quickly, and is always up for a challenge. I appreciate those qualities in a student, and especially one that learns one-on-one -on -one like this. Finding those qualities is very rare. I was lucky enough to have friends and family together for a night of bowling. I put out an open invitation, short notice on Facebook, and we got a decent crowd. I was touched that people got together just to have a fun night. My brother is a riot to go out with. I run a group page on Facebook for active Springfield FMA members. Usually my posts dominate the page from audio, visual training aids, or impromptu training sessions. But recently, more people have been getting involved by posting videos or reaching out to each other to train. I'm grateful for having such an active community at our club. A friend of mine recently had a baby and is incredibly busy between his work and family, so I don't get to see him as often. He sent an email to me with a picture of his family and it meant a lot that I was still on his mind and he took time to send me an email telling me all about it. My brother and I are venturing into a music project together. He's an amazing guitar player and we had a great time plinking around with an idea. The two of us messing around, eating some Chinese food from a great local spot. I'd like to have more nights like that. Those are my wheels right there. That's how I get around town. I ride my bike everywhere, and when it's warm, 10 miles doesn't seem like a long way, but when it's 23 degrees without factoring the biting wind, I wasn't looking forward to it. I was getting ready to ride to work when a friend of mine, who was also a student at the club, offered to come and pick me up. I didn't want to be an imposition, but he came and picked me up anyways, and I'm very thankful for his gesture. Maybe he saved me from getting a cold. One of our students was frustrated with his lack of understanding. So while my partner took the group class, I worked one-on-one -on -one with him to build his confidence on his skill set. I learned a lot about his learning style, and by the end of class he was feeling much better and optimistic. I'm continually thankful for the trust people put into me to be able to show them life-saving skills. Our school shirts came in too. When I got home from work, my amazing wife had a huge dinner made up for us. She'd worked on it very hard, and it was incredible. Without any asking or prompt, she had went through a great trouble, not only to make sure there was food available for me, but she prepared it so lovingly. Now this isn't rare by any means, but I am continually humbled by her. Organization is critical when presenting information, and it can always be improved upon. I continually work towards streamlining the training process for my students but the real treasure in it is their appreciation for it. I suppose I'm thankful for being surrounded by humble people to train with. It's incredibly hard to find. And that's my friend and training partner, Mike. And yes, we're holding butter knives. He's turning 40 this Friday and is pretty tore up about it. Now, we talked a bit about it and came to the decision that the best way to feel young is to train hard tomorrow morning. I'm grateful for the opportunity to be there for a friend. I got to enjoy a movie with no distractions with my wife. It's pretty rare when we have time to just let the seconds melt away with each other. I appreciated a night with my best friend, just relaxing and watching the world go by. I celebrated a birthday with my friend and co-worker Mike. We worked slow and steady through some of the material and resisted more on others. We worked this way for about four hours or so. After getting pretty sweaty, a few bruises, and a couple cuts later, he said, I needed that. We exchanged knowing glances, and I knew then that he didn't feel as old as he was afraid he would. It was a moment showing me his appreciation, and I was thankful not only to be there for him, but that he'd express it to me so simply. had to work tonight. Uh, she works long shifts part of the week and on those days I don't get much time with her. 
sitting in my apartment, alone, working on this project. I turned everything off and sat to think on how blessed I am even having her in the next room. It was a quiet realization, one I've had before, but I had the joy of experiencing it again. She chose me, and I chose her. It's as permanent as the inevitability of change. For that, I am most grateful. All right, it has been a week with my gratitude journal, and I've been writing down ideas. I've just been scrawling in my notebook in there, and uh, uh, it, it's been a great week. When I started, I thought I was going to have three distinct groups. Um, I thought I was going to have my work, my friends, and my family. The more time I thought about it, the more time I spent there, my work friend, my the people I work with, they, they're my friends. And my friends are like family. And I have been truly blessed, lucky, fortunate, whatever you want to call it, that they're not three separate things. Everything is the same to me. Everything is family. I, I love everything about my life and I am I'm so grateful for an opportunity to work on a project like this and put it into perspective. So thank you so much for the project. Thank you for the watch and uh, try to keep it short and sweet because I know you've got a lot of work to do. So um, thanks again.